everybody, Crystal Glavanley here, and I'm at Jared's Coffee, Tea, and Gallery on Main Street. I like hanging around here and um, making my videos and talking about real estate, so here we go. Topic du jour, that down payment thing. So let's do a little math, okay? Don't be afraid, it's easy math. If you make $50,000 a year, you would probably qualify for somewhere in the neighborhood of a $180,000 house. You might think to yourself, okay, that's cool, but I need to put 20% down. That's, that's $36,000 plus closing costs. That's like $40,000. I don't have that kind of money. If you do, kudos, high five. But many people don't. Maybe you've done a little research and you've discovered that there's some low down payment programs out there. FHA and conventional have programs where you can put three and a half to 5% down and get a house. Even that though isn't exactly couch money. Three and a half percent of hundred eighty thousand dollars is six to three hundred bucks. Who has that in their couch cushions? Not me. If you add in your closing costs, you're talking over eleven thousand dollars. So you might be really discouraged, thinking, "I will never save eleven thousand dollars in my life." And you might be right. But there is a hope. There are a couple programs in Arizona that provide a grant to a 4% of the purchase price. Now 1% goes to fees. The remaining 3% goes to put your down payment. So, and you might think this sounds too good to be true, but it's not. A couple catches, you gotta have a credit score of at least 640, okay? In order to do this, you gotta have a credit score of at least 640. That's not so hard. You can't make more than somewhere between 88 and 89 thousand dollars. You know, there's a salary cap depending on what program you go into. It's right around 88, 89 thousand bucks. You gotta take a little class. You can do it online, it's not that hard. And yeah, of course you can only use it to buy a house you're gonna live in, okay? You can't do do like a rental thing, buy a bunch of investment properties using this program. That's not what it's for. It. Uh, and guess what else? We can ask the seller to cover your closing costs for you. And so I have seen buyers buy a house with like a thousand bucks cash. And that's, well, a lot closer to couch cushion money. Not bad, it's a good start. And it gets you in a home, and it gets you out of the ranking, and it gets you starting to build some equity quicker. Before house prices go up, before interest rates go up. And you might be thinking to yourself, yeah, but I'm not a first time home buyer. That's okay, you don't have to be. You just have to live in the house, that's all. That's the only rule, you have to live in the house. It doesn't have to be your first house ever. But if you're wondering about it, if you're really curious and you're thinking, wow, I really want to find out more, well, you know where to find me. Kristen here in Phoenix.com, that's where. Shoot me an email, give me a phone call, I'll be happy to give you more details. And if you get a chance, come check out Jared's. It's sweet, it's awesome. This is getting noisy. It keeps getting noisy. This is the challenge of urban videos.